good day. Welcome to King Mills Everything. I got this little Garmin Nuvi 1350 LMT North America refurb at Goodwill for it was seven bucks and it was half price day. I got it for three fifty. As yeah, so I figure out for three fifty, I'm going to give the sucker a chance. Uh, it is refurb, but what I liked about it, it's got the lifetime maps and traffic. And I know this is a little bit older one, and I got it turned on. You can see here, but it's got uh, kind of like that old lady smell, like really, really perfumey. And when I turned it on, plugged it in, turned it on the first time, I looked at the maps, and they're from 2011. So I'm guessing somebody bought this, and probably either left it in their car or left it in their house or something like that. And never ever plugged it into the internet, updated the maps on it. So I want to give this a try and see if we can get the maps updated, and see how that works because it'd be a little more useful if we got you know modern maps instead of let's see nine year old, eight year old maps. But it was kind of cool. Uh, everything came in it. Got some puck, or there are a couple things that didn't come into it. The best part is the little. Uh, radio uh, receiver for the traffic, so that's pretty cool. I'm gonna try this out. I, I haven't, I don't know if they have traffic in our area. Uh, came with the activate your maps unopened, you know, it came with a receipt. I won't share the receipt, but oh, wait, I think I can. Let me see, somebody got it on Groupon, it doesn't say the price though. And let's see what else is supposed to be there. Some little puck, but all in all, a really nice little unit. And so today, we're gonna plug it in. Update the maps. I'm going to show you how to do that. It's pretty easy. But what I had to do, I had to get the maps on there. Uh, this is just like standard two gigabytes, not enough space anymore. So I did have to buy a little SD card, about a little eight gigs SD card for a couple bucks. And I actually use my Bing points. So if you search with the Bing search engine, you get paid to search with Bing instead of Google. And so I got that for free. And I did have to buy, there's missing one. Oh, the little uh, thing you put in the back here to suction cup a tiered to your uh, windshield that was missing. So that was, I think, maybe five or six bucks on Amazon. All right. Might even be less, I don't know. <clears throat> but uh, I figure for a couple bucks, for under 10 bucks, we got a nice little GPS and it's in no scratches or anything. So it looks like, it's other than my dirty fingerprints all over it. It looks like it was just probably just stored somewhere. It's got a couple little scratches on the back. Maybe left in the car or just left in the house or something like that, never used. So let's go and I'm gonna show you how to update it. Okay, so go to your Garmin Express on your computer. If you don't have it, go to Garmin's website and download Garmin Express. You can see it detected mine. It says there's two updates available. So when you plug in your GPS, it's going to go out and look and see if there's updates. So you have two. You have one for a map and one for a test GLX. I'm not sure what that is, but we're going to install both of those. Uh, so you can kind of see it's the newest map is 2020.30, and it's 2.8 gigabytes. So I did need the SD card because it is, it's just not a space. So you say install, say continue. And then what's going to go do? It's going to take a minute. It's going to download it, and it's thinking, it's thinking, and see, I did detect my memory card, so that's cool. If you don't have enough space, it's going to say, "Not enough space, can't do it," and that's where I was stuck before. So let's let this download, and it'll take a minute or two. I'm going to fast forward through this for you guys. The magic of video. Look at it go! Look at it go! And it's done. So you can see it. I let it reboot and say the map is 2020.30. We're checking for updates again just to verify. There you go. For under 10 bucks, we got a new V1350 with the most current maps. And that's pretty darn cool. I figure this is, you know, eight years old. And Garmin's still putting out maps for it. Man, when they meant lifetime maps, they meant lifetime maps. I know a lot of the G, uh, the um. Tom Tom stuff after like three or four years, that's it. They cut you off and they want you to buy maps. It's like, so lifetime maps on on a, a Tom Tom is not lifetime, where the Garmin apparently still is. So it's pretty cool. I'm going to show you really quick here. Let's turn this bad boy on. Battery holds a good charge. I haven't seen how long the battery lasts, but most of the time you're going to plug it into your cigarette lighter. But it's kind of neat if you're in a pinch and you're walking around, you want a GPS or something. And it's loading the maps. Loading, let's see, 2019, that's pretty cool. All rights reserved. I'll agree to that. Let's go into tools, settings, map, info. And you can see Canada, North America, 2020.3. That's the latest and greatest. I looked it up, so that's pretty cool. So thank you very much, Garmin. You, you made a nice little product, and I got a good deal on a nice little, uh, nice little GPS for... Uh, toting around where I want to take anything really fancy one just want something cheap or want somebody needs to borrow one boo yeah so anyway hope you guys enjoy the video and got some use out of it that's you have a great day